today is our last live stream of the week until probably next weekend. So for today we thought we do we will do a latte with the Aeropress. Mm -hmm. This was a great suggestion for a video from a viewer from one of our live streams from last week. So I thought let's give it a try. And the reason we wanted to give it a try is also because it's kind of cool to be able to make a latte at home without spending $800 on an espresso machine. So we want to see the results and see if it's even comparable, if you can call it a latte, if it tastes creamy and it has a nice uh, body and mouth feel to it just as an espresso would uh, uh, an espresso based latte would have made with an espresso machine. So the recipe we're gonna use today is the original recipe from the inventor of the Aeropress. And if anyone has bought an Aeropress recently, you'll see that in one of those papers that are inside the package, there is actually a suggestion on how to make a latte with an Aeropress. Weird. So yeah. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do is put 14 grams of espresso ground coffee, top it up with 50 to 60 grams of hot water. Now, the original recipe asks for uh, hot water of 80 degrees, but we're not going to measure the 80 degrees hot water, we're just going to do it off the boil. So it's probably going to be around 92, 93 degrees. And then you let you stir it, you let it steep for a minute, and then you just press it out in a little glass and top it up with milk. Now, when it comes to the milk part, you can go many ways. We have we here have the luxury of an espresso machine, so I'll texture the milk with the espresso machine. But obviously, if you don't have an espresso machine, you could use a French press, and there are many videos on YouTube and online that will teach you how to froth milk with a French press. I think you can or, a video about it huh? in the future. Yeah, I could get a little French press and show you guys how it's done. I have, I've done it only once and it's alright, you know, the results are pretty good. You could also go another way and uh, you could just heat up some milk in a jug on the stove or in the microwave and just pour it on top of the coffee. Now, it's not going to be the ultimate cafe experience, but it's good enough for the money you'd be spending on a cup of coffee at home, right? Or, uh, a third option would be something that I've actually tried and I enjoy a lot, and that is blending your coffee. That means you put your hot milk, your coffee, all together in a blender, or... Yeah, a, a fruit blender basically mm. and just blend it and it comes out nice and creamy and if you don't believe me give this a go i know it's a bit weird because you're using a fruit blender <laughs> but believe me we used to do coffee like that I know, I know. before we got an espresso machine before we had the luxury yeah exactly first comment of the day cheater <laughs> uh, <too bad. laughs> cheater cheater no cheating me just, uh, you know, little, <laughs> no say, shortcuts. <laughs> what are we going to do? Actually, I don't have a blender at the moment to, to blend the coffee, so... Anyway, 14 grams of coffee. Got some coffee in here. 
ね。Now we wait for the water to come off the boil. We'll put our filter on. What's it? Put some water on it. Very nice. That's all done. Now we just wait for the water for 30 seconds. In the meantime, I have this little latte glass. No, just, this is what we use at a cafe where I work at. But any type of glass, mug, cup, whatever you have will work. This one conveniently also fits over the air press so you can actually press the coffee on top of it. And get the coffee straight into the glass. Otherwise, usually I would use one of these milk, bigger milk jugs to just press the coffee and also don't burn myself and don't make a mess as well. Because if not done right, this can be a messy experience. Got the stir in here. Water is almost ready. There we go. So as I said, I'll put 50 grams of water, stir it around, leave it for a minute to steep, and then press it in the glass. Go! It's not an actual espresso making method now. We're just mimicking a uh, drink that will resemble an espresso because for espresso you need pressure and for espresso we would also use much less water than here because here we have 14 grams of coffee and then we have 50 to 60 grams of water. So, you know, just espresso style. <laughs> This is yeah. But look, if this works for some people, why would you buy an espresso machine if you're drinking just one coffee a day? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So there we go, we are just off the minute mark. I'll just flip it. Look at that. Press. favorite coffee origin to be honest you know because coffees taste amazing if they're done properly so you can have coffee from Ethiopia Colombia and Salvador you know I don't know Mexico India <laughs> Indonesia there, there are coffee producers in the north of Australia as well so it, it's very difficult to choose like a favorite Wherever right. there's good coffee. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's, yeah. Favorite coffee origin. I don't know. Coffee is originally from Ethiopia. <laughs> Ethiopian coffee is nice. Kenyan coffee is nice as well. Yeah. So, I would say that African coffee is uh, my go-to. Let's put it that way. But like a specific origin, I, I wouldn't be able to tell. To be honest, I just like good coffee. That's about it. Mm. Yeah, I prefer good coffee to a coffee from a specific origin. Yeah, I'm personally, I'm still in the learning process, so I'm, I'm now... I just drink coffee that I like, that's about it. I'm just now learning all those, you know, different origins and, uh, you know, so I'm just testing waters and then maybe that's I will right. find one. That's all good. <laughs> My favorite. We have the espresso here. And we have a jug of milk here, right? So what we're gonna do now is 
let's wait for the machine to heat up and then see what we make. I have a feeling it's gonna taste a bit watery. I think so. I mean, look at the. But we'll see. We'll see. Take it easy. Eh, not judging. I mean, I'm a little bit judging, but. It smells fruity, it smells nice. It is the basic. I don't have a lot of coffee left. It is the Mexico natural coffee from Finca Guadalupe Zapu. Chocolatey taste. Great. It was nice as espresso, yeah. So. Mm. It's gonna be fine. I think it'll do. The softness. No. It's all in here. Very concentrated. Yeah. As it should, obviously. It's not a bad thing. It means when you dilute it with the milk, you still have some body to it. You'll concentrate. Concentrate of fruit. It's the fruit touch. <laughs> Looks like a latte. Looks like a flat white. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the maid and her coffee expertise. Hey, okay. I just judged by the foam thickness. Lattes and flat whites have different uh, volumes, like it's not the same size. Volumes of what? Of the cup. The size of the cup. This is a bigger. Ah, yeah. This one. Eh. So, you should have watched one of our Majestic Bean videos that right. we made at the beginning. Whatever. <laughs> I've let down the master. This actually tastes nice. Okay. I think the inventor of the Aeropress was onto something. Just to be honest. It's, okay. not, it's not overly... Diluted. I taste the milk. Of course you taste the milk. But only the milk. <laughs> there is milk in it, man. Mm. You don't get what I'm saying. <laughs> it's pretty good. But do you like do you sense any sort of uh, um, different taste other than you, you you don't taste any coffee at all? Mm. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. I need anyway, stronger Anyway, this taste. is a this is a good Alternative to if you don't have an espresso machine at home. Also, if you find that 14 grams to 60 grams of water, for example, does not work for you, you could try decreasing from 60 to 50 grams of water and that will produce an even more concentrated drink. You could also experiment with the brewing time as well. You don't have to leave it for a minute. You could leave it for a minute and 15 seconds, a minute and a half as well. So because the longer you, you leave it, the more brewing time there is, right? And the more the water will extract the flavors of the coffee. This is not ideal, obviously. But then again, we're working with equipment that will cost you $60, right? So it's $800 against $60. So, you know, that's... Uh, that's what we get. And if you're listening to Valeria and 
her coffee expertise. You know, she hey. just woke up. Her synapses are not firing. <laughs> but but that doesn't, okay, I'm usually used to stronger coffee. So whenever there's some like delicate mix, like you know, an air pressed made espresso and mm. coffee that just it's does, espresso like you know, it's not yeah. espresso. And um, don't get offended by it. My Italian heart is just like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I think uh, that's about it. Let me see what brew ratio you use for V64. Start with a 1 to 16 and then take it from there. You know, most of the time that's a safe bet. And then if it tastes too, too bitter, dial it down a bit, di dilute it a bit. So go 117, 118, you know, and so on. Adjust the grind as well. You gotta be careful of the brewing time as well. So. You know, there are many variables, but um, 1 to 16 ratio is the go-to for most of the baristas that are making filter coffee because it's a safe bet and then it's a good starting point to then adjust the recipe from there. So I think that's it. Look, the AeroPress experiment is a success. Obviously, we cheated a bit with the milk steaming, but who cares? It was all about to see if uh, it's, it actually is going to taste anything close to a latte, and it does, you know, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, we will see you next time, I think next uh, Saturday probably, we will do another live stream, and we also have another video uh, coming out probably the, this week or next week, so keep, the, keep watching the channel. Check out the videos, check out the Instagram page, Ian Bean channel. Uh, if you want to send us a message, you could do that there. That's about it. I think. Okay. Have a good day and good night, yes. wherever you are. Wherever you are, if you're in the US, it's probably night, so have a good night. <laughs> and, and bye. bye.